Hello, guys. How are you? I am here to share with you um, some of the things that I've done with the birthday stuff. Um, I decided to put this pretty case on the back of my A5 so that way I wouldn't cover all this up and it works fine. Um, I like that idea. Um, I was even thinking about putting a pen loop up, up here and then so that way there's not so many pens on the side. What do you think about that idea? <laughs> Come up with something new, right? So that's my A5. Um, there's really not a lot to flip through that you guys haven't seen already. Um, it, I'll just give you guys a, just a sneak peek just so you can see. Um, still haven't changed my cover. Um, see, there's really not a lot. And I can't even tell if you can see it all. See, there's really not a lot that I did. This is the um, questions book. You know, like, how do you feel protected and safe? Um, you know, different questions like that. And I just I wonder, can you guys see it? Um, because I'm on my little lap desk, not the table. Um, so all of these are from Black Mountain Plans. This, of course, is from Happy Planner or either Wrong Wrong. Um, um, so I can just, you know, answering these questions and just creating and just doing whatever, you know, um, I feel. I, guys, I would, I really need to invest in a nice big professional camera and a ring and so I can give you guys better quality videos. Um, I really, that's really something that is on my list of things to do, but we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to keep on and I'm just going to share this little flip through with you. Um, of what I've been doing um, in the month of August. Um, my planner is not even really worth flipping through. Um, as you can see, um, I've skipped some pages. No, I haven't. This is where I left off at. But I'm just going to share it with you. Just going to share it with you. So how are you all doing today? Welcome all that are new. My name is Pamela. And welcome to Pamela Making Memories. <laughs> um, I am again not feeling so well. Um, I woke up to start my day. And I did. I had a nice healthy breakfast and um, and I went and I sat on my love's recliner and then the wind began to howl and the leaves began to, sh branches began to shake and I said, oh my lord, Miss Celia is twister weather. So I checked on the news and it's Hurricane Lee, I think. Um, that is becoming a category five that is headed um, our way. Um, and the, it was it was windy. It was really windy. Um, but it's calmed down right now. Um, and then I found myself falling asleep in the recliner and I went and I got back in bed and I could not get back to sleep. I, it, it's crazy, you know. Um, 
and my my chest hurts not like heart attack pain like bronchitis pain you know like say for example you just ran and you were running and you're out of breath and your chest is burning that's the feeling that I have um you know breathing in you know is it's 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 better but I mean it's taken me a long time to get over this bronchitis it's been um two weeks now I think this is the second week. I'm not finished the antibiotics, but it usually doesn't take me this long to get over anything. And I've never had bronchitis before in my life. So that's old. That's a sign, you know, hey, I'm getting old and my body's just not reacting to things, you know, the way that it used to. And, you know, once you've had COVID and I've had it twice, you can't expect your body to be um, the same and the way that it handles infections and things the same. So um, I decided to get up um, and I thought maybe I have COVID, but I had, um, excuse me, it's tea, tea, I'm sipping on some tea, um, but I... I had a COVID test at the urgent care and I was clear. So I'm just assuming that the bronchitis is getting worse before it gets better because I'm sipping hot tea and it's 80 degrees outside. So mm, this is peppermint tea. Oh my gosh, wish you could taste it. No sugar at all. Mm, it's so good and it feels so good going down my throat um so anyway how are you guys doing um not a lot to f i'm gonna keep flipping through because everybody's doing their flip throughs um I, I like this that says i'm called um so this is some more stuff that i just threw together and that's the bottom. Um, so, like I said, these haven't really been used, but it's just nice to just share it. Um, so it's really not a big deal. I just went crazy on that page um and then this one right here um it's just another book full of questions so there's really like um the journal pages i put in the back but um how are you guys doing i mean seriously you're doing good i hope and pray that you are doing good and um I really do so you see not a lot going on here um, and of course you guys have seen all of these a thousand and one times so I just I just wanted you guys to know that I have been journaling not as much as I would normally do um, and that bothers me but you know if you're you're sick you're sick you know you're ill you're ill um update the this is still doing good i know kalani wanted one and i got this from aliexpress and it is definitely pure stainless steel i wear it every day all day i shower in it i work out in it and as you can see nothing has changed the charms haven't changed colors the clasp haven't changed colors it's 100 percent good quality and it, you know, it's funny, guys, how you can go on um, AliExpress and find something that's really good and only paid a dollar and a seventy-five cents for it, and then you you buy the same thing in the United States and it costs twenty dollars, but the clasp isn't one hundred percent stainless steel, so the clasp turns colors. Well, if the clasp turns colors, you got to replace it. And then try to find a stainless steel, you know, or the whole thing you just throw away. It really irritates me how 
you know, things can be here in the United States when it comes to quality and, and things of that nature. It, it, it really, you just never would have thought that I would have paid a dollar and maybe 79 cents for all for this and for it to be sturdy and strong, you know? So Kalani, I hope you did get yours. Um, but you have to make sure that it says stainless steel when you order it from AliExpress. Um, let's see, I'll show you a few other things. Um, oh, I did get these pouches from Amazon. And I'm sure that they're probably on AliExpress, but sometimes I don't I don't have the time to wait. I love these little pouches. They are mesh and they're really good for storing stuff, especially um, you know crafting stuff. So this is on Amazon, and they come with the little zipper pulls. Love it. So I thought I would share that with you. Um. Guys, I grew up watching movies, those old black and white movies. And when Turner Classic Movies came out, it was such a blessing because it was always something to look forward to. And I would set my VCR and I would record movies. And I've always been a big movie buff. But when I was younger, guys, it was all, I would watch all movies, More comedy, girly, horror, mystery, thriller, action, adventure. I had such a wide variety of interest. Any story someone wanted to tell, you know, I would go to the movies and be there all day, go in at the first matinee and just stay all day. And I remember Gary and I would, when we got together, we used to always go to the matinees during the week and we would, you know, load up with food in our bag and we would just spend the day you know watching a double feature or whatever and then as I've gotten older I noticed that my interest in movies have changed quite a lot um, there are so many old movies from the 80s um, if you guys remember Patrick Dempsey from Can't Buy Me Love and um, Matthew Broderick from Ferris Bueller's Day Off I mean, just these, and, and you definitely remember, you know, um, the Breakfast Club, the whole Brat Pack, you know. And I just remember, you know, like I was um, talking to a friend, a dear friend of mine, and I was like, you know, I forgot about those old movies and those old comedies and those old things that made you laugh, you know. Um, and it, it's kind of refreshing, you know, it's kind of refreshing because like, you know, um, my, my taste in music, movies have changed just so much. You know, if you were to tell me there was a new version of Ferris Bueller coming out, I guarantee you, I would not pursue it. <laughs> um, but today I came in my room, I turned on the TV and Imitation of Life was on how many of you remember imitation of life there's two versions of it both versions are compelling um both versions will have you in tears especially at the end well today the version with lana turner um that's the color version was on and um i was like um, that's a movie I have in my collection that I never watch because it's one of those kinds of movies that it's just so heartbreaking. And, you know, and I turned it on right towards the end um, where the, the death scene and the regret and the pain and mama, you know, and I was in tears and I can't believe that that movie still affects me the same way to this day. So if you guys have never seen Imitation of Life, oh my gosh, I highly recommend that movie. Doesn't matter which version you watch, the old black and white version or the color version. Um, it is definitely an intense movie. 
Um, now the colored version has Mahalia Jackson singing in it. And we all know there is no other like Mahalia Jackson. It is not a song that she can sing, that she can't sing and, and will have you in tears some kind of way. You know, I am a big fan of Mahalia Jackson. She's one of my favorite all time um, gospel singers. Um, and just hearing her sing like that again, oh my Lord. Oh, it was just, I was in tears. So if you have not seen Imitation of Life, please check it out. All right, so anyway, I just thought I'd throw that little tidbit in because my eyes are still a little red. Um, so choose kindness. Now these all came from either Caliber Plan or Amber Plans Her Day. Um, and I had, I just had a bunch of stickers, guys, that I just needed to use. And I'm trying to get rid of these books because I no longer need these. They no longer, you know, are what I want to use, even though I still like them. So I figured why not just have a field day and just purge through my stationary luggage and get rid of some things that I really um, don't have a taste for anymore. And that is why I did this. This was therapy. This wasn't meant to be impressive. Um, it wasn't meant to be part of a plan with me or journal with me. I just decided that I would just share with you some old stickers that needed to be used. This is a combination of wrong, wrong, <clears throat> happy planner, um, Amber plans her day and maybe even caliber plan quotes. So yeah, that's what this is. And because of that, I've been able to take the stress off of my stationary bag and it's not as heavy, it's not tipping over as much as it used to and it's great and as you can see I made a mistake here and I said I'm not going to try to correct it because it was not the type of paper that would easily come off um, have you guys checked out Black Mountain Plan she has some sunflowers and fairies and then she has another sunflower kit that's supposed to come out this Friday. That is my sunflower kit that she brought back for me called Rustic Sunflowers. And she calls it Throwback Thursday. So I look forward to that. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware yet, but... Um, Happy Planner has, okay, as you can see, I haven't finished all of them, but Happy Planner has come out with a fall lineup, and you can start purchasing your um, planners to start 2024, and there is a sticker book um, and a notebook and a planner that is dedicated to Disney cats. Um, now I did not get the planner. I had no need for it and I did not get the, um, notebook had no need for that as well, but I did pay $22 for the sticker book because I was able to get it on a first responder discount. But after taxes and shipping, it was, it was like $29. So, um, so I will share that with you guys when I get it. Um, so here we go again um, with um, some more decoration. I decided that I needed to use that Sacra 
that I had that I that was just going to waste. So this book is not complete, but I just wanted to share with you some things that I threw together. And I mean, literally, I just threw together. Um, I didn't put a lot of effort into it. It was just me just doing something um, getting rid of unnecessary stickers or, or extra stickers um, and it was it was therapeutic believe me it really was um, so that was that's really you know all of that was <clears throat> Um, any of you have cats or pets that get constipated? Gabby is not going to the bathroom as often as she should. And I am concerned by her being an elderly cat. Um, I, it, you know, I get really concerned if it, when something is just a little bit different. Um, but this I didn't put a whole lot of effort in. I was just trying to get rid of these Kel of a Plan little washy things. Yeah, that's Gappy. She <laughs> messing with the um. So this this is this is nice, but okay. And let's see. Wanna then Gary said that this was only in black. So this is what I did. I tied it in a knot, and I put a little charm on it. And Gabby just left. Oh, Annie is doing good. She's actually on my bed right now. I made a little house for her. Um, I put, you know, the real soft eye patches that you put on so that when, when you go to sleep, it keeps the sun out. Well, I had an extra one and I put her on it and she likes the feel of it. And um, so, and I pushed it inside of the a coffee cup. A paper coffee cup and so she's that's her little bed her little house and it's pushed in the corner of the pillow um, so that way it's like a little snug hideaway <clears throat> every time Gappy gets on the bed she sits right beside that bee sits right beside that bee looks right at that bee face to face um, I love having Annie's company I love that little bee and I made a video, but I didn't post it because I didn't film it zoomed in. So when I watch the video, I have to zoom in. You know, take you know how you take your finger on the screen so that I can actually see what's happening. But what happened was Annie was playful. She was in a playful mood. And I would take my finger and go like this. And she would take her hand and go like that and it's like we were tapping each other back and forth and it was so awesome that I had to film it and it reminded me of cats you know when when cats are together and they they tap each other and they do like that and puppies will do that with each other or with you and that's exactly what it was like with that bee it was like we were just playing <laughs> So, yeah, I love that girl. I love her so much. Um, it, it will be a sad day for me if I wake up and see that she has passed away. I've been doing as much research as I can possibly do on the love and care and affection. Um, bees, relationship between a human and a bee. And um, they can live up to a couple few years. So, you know, she might be here and I'll be gone. Um, the sunflowers are doing good. Um giving them plenty of sunlight but you know they are not in their natural habitat and um some of them are bent over and then some of them are straight up but just to have sunflowers real sunflowers in my house i love it um you know i'm glad gary didn't buy all of them because um that would have been a lot of work um so anyway um back back on course here um so i put this together put some stickers on here um and as you can see it got my big jumbo 
Um, yes, so Gary filled that out. And I put some stuff on here. And this is all from Black Mountain Plans. And I wrote a journal based on what this scripture is talking about, which says, I don't know if you, yeah, you guys probably can't. Okay. Yeah. So this here, I read that scripture and what I wrote correlated with the scripture. And I did that September 6th. And as you guys can see, I just took all of the freebies and extras that I had from Black Mountain Plans and I just put them you know, around so that way I can write around the flowers and the pictures or what have you. So yeah, I thought that was cute. And at the bottom of each page where the scripture is, you know, I just put something. Um, so I did that pretty much throughout the book. Now this came from Pleasantly Planned. And all um, this here is from Black Mountain. More of Pleasantly Planned. That's a very, very pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. 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 Um, and as you can see, I didn't have my glasses on. And I put that sticker on upside down. Oh, well. But I thought this was really pretty. So I just went ahead and just did a little bit of decorating. Here's a coffee themed one. So, yeah. So uh, I just need to get this off eventually. So that, well, I broke that. <laughs> jeepers creepers see how that is this is stainless steel right but this is ally alloy see how it changed and fading and changing colors that's 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 the thing i can't stand i can't stand that that cheap bullcrap stuff you know um i didn't want to put a big keychain on this so I just wanted to use a small little zipper pull for that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and here's the last thing I wanted to share was what I did with the um, big, and I mean big, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So I put, um, what do you call it? You know, paper clip, and I took some of that ephemera <laughs> that I make all the time. Well, I was making all the time. And I just made me some, you know, took some of those journal cards. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've made so many journal cards and ephemera envelopes and stuff that I'm gonna have to give some of it away. I really am because I can't use all that stuff. Um, and real quick, finally, this was that bag. Uh, so I put some stuff in there and I put that keychain on there. And as you can see on here, I put these words. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it just helps with the color matching. And this is the sheet that I was telling you about that I showed you. These are the Happy Planner sticker sheets like um, Mojo. So there's that. And then here is the Learn and Grow. Um, and I put some stickers there. And let's see, the best time for new beginnings is now. So I put that on there. And then we have these pre-decorated paper, which is from the Happy Planner that came today. And then I have another section where it says, send more love letters. I really <laughs> didn't care for that. What I wanted was this. 
this is what I wanted. So I'm going to flip it over. And what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to cover it. And then I also got this, which says today top priorities. Um, I'm going to decorate that and change it up a bit. I like verse of the day. Um, I don't need this, the times and AM and PM. So I'm going to cover those up. Um, so I got a little something to do. And then this page, this right here is, it's, it says at the bottom, bring on the calm. And it's in the same color as that, the rose gold. And this was a notebook also from Happy Planner. And this one says, uh, find your bliss. And then these are the pages that were from that, which I intend to decorate. And right here it says, let yourself rest. And then there again is more of this stuff here. And then here's the end of that. And then on the back here is the part that I keep tucked in and then the sticker book um, faith type sticker book with beautiful beautiful um, stickers in it and it is called moody florals that's what it's called moody florals and it fits perfectly in there um, and the ink pen, you guys know, this is from Amazon. Um, no, excuse me, not Amazon. This is from Simply Gilded. And I thought with the blue and the silver, everything matches accordingly. Um, and we got the browns and the blues, and we can throw in some rose gold. Um, so, yeah, I think this is a pretty good setup. I've never had a big before, and believe me when I tell you, if you do not have a big happy planner be prepared because it is really really huge it's it's bigger than in a nine by eleven or eight and a half by eleven it's it's big I don't <laughs> oh my god it, this thing is just so huge I I mean it's it's bigger than your average notebook you understand so anyway i'm i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here i just want to say thank you guys so much um oh my nails are not this color they are black so there you go so anyway have a great day guys thank you so much for your care and concern for me and just keep me in your prayers because i know god is just working in my life and I know that he's working in your life so hugs and kisses to all of you just know that I'm thinking about you and I love you and I appreciate you all so much hugs and kisses to you travel lady big hugs and kisses to you you know you're in my prayers Kalani big hugs and kisses to you you know that you and your family as well are in my prayers and James and everyone you know, James, thank you so much for just hanging out and just appreciating me and just being with me for the long haul, you know, and, and it, it means a lot to me, you know, so I'm sending you all love, hugs and kisses from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that you guys will have a wonderful evening and I'll be back on really soon because it's time for me to do a devotional. So I will see you guys in the next video. Right now, I got to get some rest.